Hi, and welcome to Sheep Wine Girls. I'm Allie. I'm Alex. And today we have two great wines. They were sent to us from the other guys. They found us on Twitter and asked if they could send us some wine. And of course we said, duh. The first wine we got was um, the Plunger Head 2011 Zinfandel. It's from the Dry Creek Valley, which is in the Sonoma area of California. And the second wine, also a Zinfandel, also the Plunger Head label, which is one of several labels that the other guys have, is, um, from Lodi, which is a little inland from Sonoma. Lodi is known as the Zinfandel capital of the world. Um, this retails for about $9.99, so in the Cheap Wine Girls budget, mm -hmm. and this one's a little bit of a splurge. Yeah, uh, we found it for around $15, but that's okay. Let's see if they match their price tags. Yeah. So why don't we start with this one, which is the more expensive one, the Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel. Awesome. Um, let's open it up. But um, let's for a second talk about this interesting cork that we have here. It's actually a Zork. The way this thing works is you pull it around and this thing is actually reusable and it's 100% recyclable. So, hmm. <laughs> you look like you're having a good time. <laughs> and you can also use this on a different bottle of wine too. Let's see if this wine is as fun to drink as the cork was to, I'm sorry, the Zork was to pop. This is a pretty dark, it's almost like black, it's mm -hmm. a purple, which is cool. Really deep purple. Um, it's nice. Smells really fruity. Mm -hmm. A little bit of alcohol off mm -hmm. of that. Raspberries, blueberries. Woo! All right. It's a little harsh. It's pretty boozy. It's pretty boozy. Strong, but but good. I fear for the person that drinks a bottle of this themselves. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna need this resealable cork because... Yeah, either that or you're yeah. gonna need one of those like apps that stops you from drunk dialing and also probably a pizza. Right. Which Zinfandel goes well with. So we should do a star rating. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with three stars. Okay, I was gonna say three as well. Okay. It's delicious, but it takes a little more effort to drink than we normally put in. It is really fruity, but I feel like it needs something else to balance it out, whether it's just a little bit more spice or earthiness. Maybe if it came with like a free chocolate cake. Let's save it for later. Who? Our second wine from the Zinfandel capital of the world, Lodi, California. So this is their cheaper bottle. Mm -hmm. um, it's also much more mass produced. So my guess is that you're going to have a lot easier of a time finding this in stores. This nice. bottle has been zorked. Amazing. I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. So again, this is strictly within the Cheap Wine Girls rules. This is got a cool cork. Really nice color. It's I a think. little lighter than the other yeah. one. This smells a lot sweeter than the other one. It does. Way more berry. Mm -hmm. More fruit. Wow. It goes down way smoother. It's like adult Kool-Aid. Super easy to drink. It's kind of like good. that blueberry syrup you get on the table at IHOP. Yes. Is IHOP BYOB? I don't know. I'm really enjoying this though. It's a much friendlier wine than the other one. So, star rating. What are we thinking? Four and a half to five stars. I think it's really, really drinkable. It's not, again, it didn't totally blow me away, but it's really drinkable and for under 10 bucks, it's a great wine. I was really tempted to go five, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Five stars. Okay, great. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you to the other guys for sending us these great wines. Um, we're super excited to continue drinking them. I definitely think that this one is my go-to choice. Mm -hmm. Just purely in terms of I want to open a bottle and I want to enjoy a glass, mm -hmm. this one yeah. is the winner. More accessible, yeah. Come see more of us on our blog at cheapwinegirls.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Cheap Wine Girls and like us on Facebook. Literally every time you guys follow, subscribe, like anything, we get a little email and we do a little happy dance, which mm -hmm. we're not going to do for the camera. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. There's no way that you can get a mimosa at IHOP because we would have done this before.